point. So now I think what we are going to create a uh, section for credit card. So if you see, you have uh, various properties we have defined. Okay. So what I believe the first thing we are going to do is the card number. Okay. So we can drag it like that. Okay. So the card number came into here. Okay. So that will have already. Okay. Before that, uh, which I discussed this part. We'll see this one. So if you see the layout, you can see here layout. Okay. You have section, layout group, tab, accordion, and container. So mainly it's like a layout group, dynamic container. Mainly we are going to create when we require a harness creation. Then we go for that. Mainly we most of the time we go for layout and section. Okay, so if you want to drag is a layout, one more layout you want to create, one more layout you can drag it, and then you can have an option of that one. Like you can create a dynamic layout, you can create a repeating layout, or column layout or free from layout. So free from layout is not responsive. Okay, and if you see, if you want to create a repeating layout, so repeating layout you have option of this one like grid. Okay, repeating dynamic layout. Tree, tree grid, column repeat, and tab repeat. So these are options into the available for repeat part. Okay, and the, like if we say the basic controls, like you have a label, text input, text area, icon, button, checkbox, radio button, date time. You can include any property there. And the advanced, which I told, like auto complete. Okay, paragraph, smart label, chart. Okay, address map, information matcher, all these things you can. Actually, this is actually like required for any. If you have actually requirement for very specific purpose, then we can go for this part. Okay, most of the time we can uh, like our UI can be combined with the like simple layout and the basic controls of it. Okay, so now if you see your card card number. Okay, then you want to the who is holding that card. Okay. So before that, actually before dragging, what you have to see that here, okay, when it is moved to the cross, then you can drag it. Before that, if you drag it from here, it will not drag it properly. So wait for that. It need to be changed to a. Then the card holder name, you drag it. Okay, so which come now, and then you want which card type. Okay, then want. Okay, now I will show you one more feature. Now you want that your uh, expiry month, year, and your CVV should come in a single line. Okay, now it's coming is like in a three different line. So we want that your uh, expiry month, year, and your CVV should be come into a single line. So what for that? You can include a new layout and make that in line. Okay. So if you see your layout, you're including a dynamic layout within it. Okay, so if you are including a layout within a layout itself, and then you can go for format of it. There are various format available. Okay, so if you are seeing that here, default stack stack means single line image, inline. So we are going to use the inline one. So inline grid means you are will be in one line two. Okay, in, in line grid people, you have three in a single line. Okay, so here you either you can go for in line grid people or you can go for in line. So others actually like you have like your predefined. You want to define some your own uh, format. Okay, then you can go for others. Then actually you have to define that in scheme. Okay, so time being, actually like here it will ask you like what are the others name you can give it here. So from the screen rule, you can get it there. So here, what we are going to do is inline grid triple. So the three things will come into a single section. Okay. So now, if you will drag it, like a point, uh, like expiry month at the first. Okay. Expiry year after that. Okay. And then actually, I want the CVV number after that. Okay, so you see, sorry, grid. Actually, for the repeat, actually, if you have a repeat things, then you go for grid. Normal, you don't use grid. 
like if you have a list items so actually if you have purchased 10 items you want to display that into a grid like excel type structure will be there then you go for grid like normal if you have to display single item we go for dynamic layout only okay so if you save it now so this is actually we have created a single section all the details are into that so we have not used any uh, style or anything we have just used the property whatever the defined into the property we have used that one okay so if you say dynamic is created this one and if you want to see that you can run the preview of it okay so once you preview that like it will look like how it will look to the user okay so this is actually the way it will look into the user now So this you can say your section is now created. Okay. Yeah, you can actually like you can say your card number. Actually, you can say one two three four five six seven eight nine. Then one two three four five six seven eight. Right. So you say that you have the number. You have say the card holder name is Sam. Okay. And your like visa type, you want to go for which type of uh, type of the card? Okay, so if you say like we have created a drop down, so it is coming into that one, right? So you want to go for Mastercard. So if you want to expiry one, if you say twelve, and then we have created as a drop down, like next five years, you can give that one. So here you can choose for 2016, 17, 18. And then CVV number you can give it here. So it will like six seven eight. So here it's like there is an option. If you don't want to display that when user entering there, you don't want to display that, right? So you what you can do is you can choose that to change the format of it. So that if you like the styling come into the picture, and you want don't want this big to be displayed for the card number. There should be sixteen digit only. So you can use the style. You can use the one there. Actually, you can use the style part of it. Okay.